The internet is a wild place, isn't it? And one of the most indigenous creatures of this jungle we call the World Wide Web is of course the meme, who has made itself quiet at home. Would you guys consider jacking off to be a sport? What would we do without them? Well, Europe is about to find out. Sports is no different than the rest of the interwebs as these brilliant, never stolen memes have become bigger than the games. Bigger than the figures they mock and iconographic symbols of juicy, juicy failure. Today, I've employed the help of some meme creators and Daquan Young to show you the best sports memes of the decade and that's coming up right after this. Have you ever Googled something and instantly you're receiving ads related to that search on nearly all your platforms? Do you ever wonder to what degree you're being watched by not just huge corporations, but by your own government, hackers, and people out to steal your personal and financial data? Like it or not, it's happening. You and I need to protect ourselves. That's why I use ExpressVPN to secure the mountain of data that is housed on my phone and personal devices. Think about all the Wi-Fi networks you jump on. Any hacker on that unencrypted network can hack into your phone. And if you've ever had to deal with a bank or financial institution trying to reverse charges and defend yourself, you know that's a pain in the ass and doesn't always end up fair. ExpressVPN works by encrypting your data to the highest standard and master IP to protect you from anyone trying to hack in, monitor, or steal your data. It also gives you unrestricted access to every part of the internet. No more blocking, restrictions, and opens up content from all over the world. So after this video, go to expressvpn.com forward slash five points and get started with three months free with the best encrypted protection for your personal data. And you can rest easy at night knowing you're safe. Again, go to expressvpn.com forward slash five points and find out how to get three months free. Before we get started, I want to introduce former Arena League football standout Daquan Young, who might look familiar to you if you have finally discovered my channel, where we only create original content and maybe you came over from some other channel that does not. What's up guys, I'm Daquan Young here for We Don't Know Sports, and today we present to you the 10 greatest, and we put greatest in caps to let you know that we didn't steal this idea, it's totally original. The 10 greatest sports memes of the decade. Number 10. Denzel Washington. The Denzel meme came from a picture of him looking disheveled at an award show and became symbolic in the sports meme world of having something actually positive happen to you, which we don't particularly like to recognize around here. Ah, uh, this is so funny. I mean, I don't know the origin of it, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna steal all the content, put it on our Twitter, and make like it's ours. Let's just take all these Twitter posts and put them on Facebook with our tag, because we steal content over there too. Number nine, Sports Talk Barry. Few sports troll slash memes make it to the big time. Then there's Sports Talk Joe, AKA Sports Talk Barry, AKA Barry McCockiner, AKA Jesus Man, stop getting banned. From his love of LeBron to his incessant hate of Tom Brady, nobody knows whether he really believes his own trolling or not. Space to throw this ball and, and Brady just somehow, he just, he just fits it right in and just, you just can't, like, you can't teach that type of greatness, folks. You just can't teach that type of greatness. Savage, no chill. But one thing we all know is that this year was big time for Barry. When his Ian Rappaport style tweet about James Harden's man boobs made it all the way to major sports news outlets. Chris Paul was making fun of James' man boobs in practice to the point that he broke down in tears and had to leave a couple of practices. Ah, uh, Barry, I salute you and the troops. Who did this? <laughs> Number eight, Shannon Sharp. This one meme is undisputed when it comes to getting a cheap laugh from a gif or is it gif from Shannon and Skip. Of course we know this ain't no problem. Oh my God, those memes are so great. Stolen. Number seven, R. Kelly fighting for his life. Ah yes, the interview that changed the world and definitely exonerated R. Kelly from all his disgusting misgivings and went over incredibly well with the American public. Am I right? Sports. Number
Number six, cigarette memes. Everyone's favorite low effort athlete. In honor of Jay, I'm not even gonna try on this one. Here's a creepy article about someone's hot mom. Oh, you guys are still here? Uh, run the uh, Russell Wilson throw in the one yard line play. We don't have that enough. Let's do that again. Number five, LeBron James to J.R. Smith. One of the best moments in the history of WTF. Good old J.R. Smith had no idea what the score was and ran out the clock in a tie game, prompting LeBron to ask what he had done to God to make him hate him so much. It's Taco Tuesday! Oh, we get it. That meme was really good. It'd be a shame if somebody stole it. Is there any way we could steal this channel from you? We're gonna do it anyway. Number four, 28 to three. 28 to three jokes? You want 28 to three jokes? Well, here's a year's worth of 28 to three jokes in eight hours because we're behind on all the trends and we don't know how to create original content, even though we got some of the best content makers on our roster. Number three, EDP. This man is a legend and a national treasure. I really don't have anything to say. Let him say it. Wherever that motherfucking... I'm tired of fucking losing, dude. I'm tired of losing. I'm tired of being a bitch. I'm tired of being a sorry, sad ass motherfucking organization. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Would you guys consider jacking off to be a sport? I don't know about you motherfuckers, but I consider that shit to be a sport, okay? If people can sit back and label goddamn golf, which is the boringest fucking sport in the world, a goddamn sport, if you can label that shit as a sport, and if you can label goddamn fishing as a sport, I know damn well you can label jacking off a sport. Sports! <laughs> sports, right? Right, guys? Sports. For number two, we're just gonna throw out our favorite memes out there with no explanation. And of course, the number one sports meme of the decade, Crying Jordan. A photo taken of him at his Hall of Fame induction that took on a life of its own. Now this was actually our idea. We created the Crying Jordan. We actually created Michael Jordan. Anything that has to do with Jordan, it's ours. So what this needs, its own Twitter account, its own Facebook page. Hell, we own Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is ours now. Well, I hope you enjoyed this collab. I want to thank Big Hurt Rocks and Photo Edits by Quentin as huge contributors of their original memes to this video. Please follow all their socials linked below. And don't forget to check out Daquan's real YouTube channel as he and I both actually look to see if a video has been done before instead of copying it from others. What's up guys? Thanks to Five Point Vids for having me on this channel. Go follow me on Quality TV where we actually put out good content. We're also doing a giveaway of a Sega Genesis Mini for Christmas. So subscribe, comment, try to win. I'm Five Points Vids and you made it to my next video. How about a list of every NFL team's best play on Sunday in the first week of September while there's a full moon? How about that one? How can we take credit for this video? Actually, this is our channel now. Welcome to We Don't Know Sports Vids. Oh, is that so, Mr. Five Points Vids?